Hi, it's Carol, back from my 2 ds one and I wanted to show you what I got at the stamp convention. It was called Stamp Away, and I'm going to pan down here. There's my wristband. I went Saturday only. Don't think I could have afforded to go on any other day because you know how you are when you come back from those places. So I'm going to show you what I got. I went through um, a booth. Cannot I cannot find the name of this booth. Um, it's kind of like purple butterflies or something like that. But she had these little um, Presto Punch and they're ovals. And I've been looking for that tiniest little oval forever. I'm so excited over this. And it was half price. So real excited over that. And then she also had these little sponges for 50 cents a piece. Now, I don't know if that's a good buy. It is for me. I don't know if I could get better somewhere else. But right now, that's the best I could find. And I was real happy about that. I've also never had any Baker's Twine. And they had these three for five. So I got several different colors of the Baker's Twine. And I was real happy about that. They had a place called the Islet Outlet. These are little bumblebees. And I am crazy over bumblebees right now. So they had that there. And this little thingy, this little band-aid, is called a Quicklet. An Islet Quicklet. And you don't have to use a tool to, to fasten it on. All you need to do is stick it through the hole that you punched. And take a pen or a pencil and kind of go around. And it makes the nicest little... The brad just is so nice the way it does. So I really like that. Of course, the ones that I wanted were real expensive, so I didn't get any, but maybe someday I'll be able to. And then I went to Heartfelt Creations. Loved it. Been waiting to go there. And this is what I got. I got the Garden Romance die. And with that, I got two stamp sets. One is called the Brookside Manor. Isn't that image gorgeous? I love that scene. Has the butterflies and the birds. And I also got this one called Bird Haven Pre-Cut Set. Isn't that so pretty? And I did make a card. Excuse me for reaching in front of you. I did get a card made, and um, it was from, let me see if I can find her name, Marissa Job, or Job, J-O-B. This was from the Heartfelt Creations, and hers was a lot like this. I, I really had the same um, mind link when I did this as she was doing hers. It's, it's different, but it's the same, if that makes any sense. The layout's the same. I, I've got different... You know, the colors are almost the same. But I thought hers was so beautiful. And my mother always told me that imitation is the best form of compliment. And I really hope she feels that way. And like I said, her name is Marissa Job or Job, J-O-B. And she's from the Heartfelt Creation People designer. So thank you very much for that, Marissa. I really had fun making that. It's so pretty. And the last thing I wanted to show you was ta, ta 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 my Tim Holtz signature he put my name on that and made this little tag with his two little hands ain't that so pretty I was so excited I thought he had done been gone but when I got over there he was working his, his little body off and um oh wait before I do that I'm sorry I forgot this um I went through our daily bread and I got the Cherry Lynn Designs, the three exotic butterflies, small. And I think this is the French pastry doily. No, English tea party doily. The French pastry one is a little bit smaller. Isn't it beautiful? I'm telling you people, if you think you might want this, if you go after it, you will not be sorry. It is absolutely gorgeous. That didn't make it any better. It's better away. But So those are the two dies I got there. And I love them. Okay, on to Mr. Tim Holtz. Over at his, I, I got some Distress Ink that I can't find around here. Scattered Straw. Weathered Wood. Aged Mahogany. 
I also got this little scrungy thingy that I'm going to play with. Not sure what to do with it yet, but I'll have fun learning. And I got another signature for a friend. I haven't decided which friend who wants this the most, but um, the friends that I have here don't know much about Tim Holtz, so it doesn't matter to them. Um, but I'm thinking that my first rack, not rack, my first um, giveaway, that I'm going to stick this in there is what I'm thinking. Because some people never ever have a chance, and I was just blessed beyond belief to, and I know that's crazy to think God would bless me to see Tim Holtz, but I really, really wanted to see his work, and so I can't believe I got to. But anyway, I have this, and um, I was thinking about putting that in my first giveaway when I reach 100. I'm quite, I'm only about, well, I'm not even halfway there yet, so it'll be a while because nobody knows much about me. But, um, oh, found this at a garage sale. Paid a buck for that. Handmade with love. Thought it was pretty cute. So I guess that's it right now. Um, I did get some punches. I, I went to TJ Maxx and they had some left. And so I will do that in my next video. Thank you for watching and please leave me a comment. You all have a blessed day now. Bye bye.